He's the movie mogul behind some of the world's biggest cinema hits. But in 2017, bombshell media exposés revealed claims from scores of women, actresses and employees that allegedly had been sexually harassed and even raped by Harvey Weinstein. Since then, the list of women accusing the producer of misconduct has grown to around 70, including stars like Angelina Jolie and Gwyneth Paltrow, allegations Weinstein strongly denies. But the accusations struck a nerve. Soon, women around the world were talking about their own experiences of abuse, and the social media hashtag MeToo went viral. Two years on, victims' charities say that anger has triggered real change, with more people now reporting harassment. I think there's certainly been an uptick in people coming forward, and that has led to, for example, um, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, which is where you have to go if you want to bring a, a workplace sex harassment case in the United States. I've seen an increase about 12% of the number of people coming to it, and it's also been settling a lot more cases and settling them well. The allegations against Weinstein appear to have opened the door to other high-profile cases against celebrities, like Bill Cosby, jailed for sex offences in 2018, and Jeffrey Epstein, the financier and convicted sex offender who took his own life while awaiting trial for sex trafficking. At his last court appearance, Harvey Weinstein appeared frail. He recently reached a tentative $25 million settlement with a group of women accusing him of harassment, a deal which involves no admission of guilt. However, the criminal case will continue. He's pleaded not guilty to the charges, and his lawyers have argued that the storm of publicity means he won't get a fair trial. The jury will have to promise they can make a decision free from prejudice. But lawyers say the Me Too movement is bound to affect proceedings. It will influence it because it is like the zeitgeist now. So all of a sudden now this shift, which is why these cases have been, you know, sort of blossoming, makes people more open to the notion, these jurors, that perhaps somebody needs to be punished and that it's time to believe the women. A guilty verdict could bring a life sentence for Harvey Weinstein. But whatever the jury here decides, there will be a great deal of focus on what it means not just for him, but for other similar cases and the wider Me Too movement. Sarah Walton, CGTN, New York.